Hey everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another layout for Not Just For Boys Kit Club using the Travel Log Limitless Kit. And there is literally so much stuff in this kit. So I still have a lot left. This is my third layout and I still have so, so much. So I know I'm gonna get a lot more layouts out of this kit. So what I've done is I pulled out one of the 49 and Market pattern papers and then this other blue one. And I'm going to just rip off um, a piece of it and I've cut the blue one. I cut the top off because I really liked the top. Um, it had some wordy bit at the top and I really liked it. So I think I might use that on a different layout. Um, but I just want the blue to kind of peek out at the bottom to add some layering. So I've just torn the edges and just ruffled, ruffled them up a little bit, kind of rolled them up to um, distress them. And then I'm gonna place this on my uh, white cardstock just to kind of create a frame around my pattern papers. So I'm just distressing the rest of the edges on this. I didn't do the top because that's just going to be against the edge. And then my bottom will kind of be like a free space. So um, just saving the rest of my stuff for other layouts. I still have so much paper left on this, so in this kit, so I can I know I can get quite a few layouts yet, but um, I have three photos today of my son at the amusement park riding his favorite helicopter ride. And um, I actually challenged myself on this one because in this kit, um, I don't know if you guys remember in my last video I had mentioned about the um, all the airplane kind of themed flying. Um, themed travel bits that are in here I said that I probably wouldn't use those but lo and behold I challenged myself and I'm using them on this layout because he was flying in this helicopter and even though we're not actually traveling anywhere it was just perfect for this layout so I actually used a couple of the little airplanes on it and then I used that little let's fly away sticker because I just think that's so, so super cute and suitable for this layout. So um, here is the orange paper from one of my last layouts that I did, some leftover papers that I had here from my other one. So I'm just matting my photos with those. And then this is actually the back of the other one that I ripped that bottom off of. So I am just using a piece of that to mat this third photo. And then I'm just gonna distress those edges as well so that everything's kind of roughed up and a little bit grungy like I like for my style. So I'm gonna tuck all three of these photos here right across the pretty much the middle of the page. I'm keeping to that center, um, center alignment there with them, just kind of staggering them a little bit. And I wanna tuck in that little adventure card that was on one of the cut apart pages in the kit. And um, I just love that blue, I think it's so pretty. Just adhering everything down with my tape gun. That little matte piece was actually in those um, die cuts and there is so, so many pieces in those die cuts. I cannot stress this enough. You will get so many layouts out of these little packs of ephemera because there is just hundreds of pieces it seems like. So I'm just tucking that little card in there. I'm gonna rough up these edges a little bit just to give it some texture too since the rest of my layout is all kind of grungy and has texture, so I wanna make that match. And as you can see, one of my photos there on the right was actually a landscape and then the other two were portrait style. So um, I just kind of trimmed them down a little bit so that they matched up a little bit better. And you can't even tell that that third photo is a different, um, different orientation. So it actually worked out really well in the end. I don't usually like mixing different orientation in my photos, um, but this one, it seemed to work out just perfectly. So I'm just going through this ephemera pack and pulling out little bits that I think I might wanna use. I'm gonna use this Explore acrylic piece that came with the kit. Um, I think it's an add-on and I'm gonna use it for my title, because that's exactly what I was doing. This little um, piece here, I'm actually cutting down because I only want to use that little section of it on that right top piece and I didn't want to waste the whole thing. So here I'm actually going to use the bottom piece over here. So I'm just kind of tucking them in. So it looks like I've used two of those, but I've actually only used one. It's just cut apart. So I really like all the layers in this layout. I'm going to continue to build on that and just add um, some more die pieces in there and just kind of pull out things that I think would look cute tucked in here and there and colors that would go with the, the theme of this layout. 
I really, really love this background paper and I was actually struggling a little bit with it because I really wanted to use the full piece of paper, but I wanted to add mixed media to it. Um, so I twiddled around with like cutting it out and using it as a border and doing mixed media in the middle, but I just, I just love the way that the whole piece of paper looked. So <laughs> that's why I ended up just ripping off the bottom of it and using most of the paper so I could still add a whole bunch of things to it, but I'm keeping the majority of that paper, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna tuck this little tag in here. I think it's so, so super cute and um, I just love it with that black and white embroidery floss on there. I'm gonna do the same for this one, just add a little bit there. And then I'm gonna pop that right underneath my title and I'll end up gluing that acrylic bit down with some Nouveau glue here, which is also in the shop. It's one of my favorites. It really works well for these acrylic pieces because it dries clear. And it actually dries fairly quick too. I like to use it for my sequins too because it dries quick. So I'm just going to pull out some of these little um, photo corners. I'm going to put those on um, pretty much all of the corners that you see. Um, I know I only started with two and that's what I was gonna go with, but I end up grabbing some more uh, towards the end here and add those on as well. And I love these little puppy clouds. Aren't they just so adorable? just perfect for our day I mean um, we had such a gorgeous day and the weather was so perfect and he just had so much fun that day um, this was his absolute favorite ride these little helicopters and um, there's uh, like a stick in there that you can push or pull and it makes it go up and down and he loved it once he figured out that he could go way up high all by himself he just absolutely loved it and he asked to ride that ride <laughs> Oh my gosh, I swear 20 times that day, <laughs> but he just loved it. So here's those little airplanes that are in the pack that I never thought that I would use, but I actually pull out two of them and use two on this layout. So it just works out really well. And then I just basically keep adding things to this layout and just tucking things in here and there. I'm going to add some machine stitching below all of my wordy bits. And I'm just gonna tuck um, a circle in here to kind of finish that little area off and then I'll put another airplane there. And um, that's pretty much all I do with this layout. I really love how it came together. Um, I'm gonna finish embellishing this and then I will pop in at the end with the finished layout. And don't forget that um, I'll link the kit below for you so you can grab that if it's still available in the shop. And um, just grab it quickly if you want it because they do sell out quickly. So. Um, yeah, just remember our release is always at the very end of the month. I think it's the last day of the month. And um, then you can grab the new kits that are in the shop and make sure that you get them. So I'll pop in again at the end with the finished layout.
so here is the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process today. I hope I've inspired you to create something beautiful. And thank you so much for watching and for supporting my creative journey. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.